Article 6, Clause 3 of the Constitution states very clearly that no religious test shall ever be required as a qualification to any office or public trust under the United States, unless you're a Catholic. That is the Dianne Feinstein Amendment, I think. You will not find that amendment anywhere in the text of the Constitution, but it must be somewhere, somewhere just above the emanations, just below the penumbras. So the confirmation process is scheduled to proceed apace, and the left is already lobbing the attacks. What's curious, though, is that the left is not attacking Judge Barrett's record on the bench. They're not even really talking about her judicial philosophy. They're going straight to the gutter and attacking her religion and her children. Article 6, Clause 3 of the Constitution states very clearly that no religious test shall ever be required as a qualification to any office or public trust under the United States, unless you're a Catholic. That is the Dianne Feinstein Amendment, I think. You will not find that amendment anywhere in the text of the Constitution, but it must be somewhere, somewhere just above the emanations, just below the penumbras. When Judge Barrett was nominated for the Court of Appeals, Democrat Dianne Feinstein recoiled in horror at the judge's religious faith. The dogma lives loudly within you, and that's of concern, Feinstein intoned. Fair enough, fair enough. I suspect the dogma does live loudly within Judge Barrett, but dogma lives loudly within Senator Feinstein as well. In Barrett's case, that dogma comprises the Catholic faith and the judicial oath to administer justice without respect to persons, to do equal right to the poor and to the rich, and to faithfully and impartially discharge and perform all the duties incumbent upon her under the Constitution and laws of the United States, so help her God. God. Sounds like something of Judge Barrett's dogma lived loudly within the people who wrote the judicial oath, just as it lived loudly within the founders and framers of our country who gave us our Constitution. A different sort of dogma lives loudly within Senator Feinstein. That would be the dogma of secular liberalism, which is a religion, which considers itself a God and a jealous God at that. Now, in the spirit of national unity, I want to be very nice to people on the other side of the aisle, so I will refrain from attributing to malice that which can equally be explained by stupidity or ignorance. Maybe the left is malicious, sure, but they are at least equally ignorant. (laughs) 